My peeps, what's going down? All right, the question is, how do you keep body fat away when you're inactive, whether you're injured or something's come up where you're not active? All right, great fucking question. First thing what you got to remember is this. If you don't want body fat, you've really got to kind of take your body's ability to store body fat away. You know, it's, it's like if, if you don't want to fucking get shot, make sure there's no fucking gun in the house. <laughs> you know, if, if you want to make sure that you're safe from something, kind of dislocate the thing that will allow what you don't want to happen to do. If that makes fucking sense, kind of a tongue twister. Anyway, so this being said, really what we need to do is we need to keep the body's ability to store body fat away. And the number one way to do that is to keep control of our insulin. When the insulin goes up, it's like the key that fucking unlocks the fat cell. Because when your insulin goes up, it gives your body this like fucking supercharged ability to store nutrient value. Well, if you're not active, the odds are you don't have a place to put that nutrient value. If the muscles are not torn down and rebuilding, it's almost like the muscle's a reservoir. If the muscle's not empty or beat up or has a place to store the nutrient value, it has one place to go and that's gonna be the fat cell. So the number one way to keep body fat away if you're inactive is to keep control of your insulin. The number one, number one way to keep control of your insulin is to keep foods on the glycemic index at a very low position, which means low in terms of the number. The glycemic index, the lower the number, the less effect it has on your insulin. Perfect example, a tablespoon of almond butter, extremely low on the glycemic index. A tablespoon of sugar or honey or anything sweet with sugar very high on the glycemic index so keep in mind it's not just you know what you're eating but it's also has to do with the order you're eating it you want to make sure that you eat things on the glycemic index at a very low first eat fats first because if you are going to use a carbohydrate what happens is the fat is low, the carbohydrate is high on the glycemic index. If the fat's there first, then as the carbohydrate enters, it's gonna, t it's gonna basically average. So that low and that high make an average of the glycemic index, which is far less of a punch on your insulin, which will then control the insulin and keep your body's ability to store fat at bay. So I would say number one, simple math, lower your carbohydrate. If you still want to use carbohydrate, number two, eat your fats first, your protein second, your carbohydrate third. That's going to make the average of the glycemic index in your stomach lower, which is going to have a much less effect on making your insulin go up because when your insulin is up, that is the key to unlock the fat cell. And guess what? When that motherfucker's unlocked, your body's going to source, store some fucking body fat. And that, my friends, is what this video is all about. Control your insulin. Control your body's ability to store body fat. Rock and roll, my peeps.